Hey people with the spirit of learning, welcome back into my YouTube channel. This is Angga Rizky and we're gonna continue our series Firestore with the Kotlin tutorial. Well, in this case, we're gonna try to explore how do we create the database, the Firestore database with the Firebase. Okay, so over here that we're going to database menu and you'll see there is the Firestore up the top here in the banner so we create database and I will start with the test mode okay so we enabling all right meanwhile we will figure out how do we get this data so basically after you try to design this kind of the design we need these numbers okay dynamically so we can't to write it manually but the question is how do we get this the uh, dynamically so we're gonna use the database so we're gonna uh we're gonna display the data based on the user's uh word login okay so here i'm going to add collection and based on this section if you see here that i will put maybe this is the progress okay so i will make it progress here okay and then next to it okay so instead of the progress we got the user so user here i will put my name okay and this is i will call it like a username and it's supposed to be my name here okay and then instead of this user object we got um, we got this data reward videos and mvv okay so over here i will put a rewards value Maybe here supposed to be a 23 okay and then we got the videos values videos value and then we put maybe this is supposed to be 10 uh, 10 and this is maybe just 2 and the last one we got MVP so MVP a uh, value I will put a differently maybe this is supposed to be a hundred okay so this is my username this is the data that we need as for now okay so next to it right so after that you can just save it and the uh, firestar will take handle of the rest okay what if we got another data so maybe this is your friend's username maybe i will put my uh, my partner here okay and the username is uh, funny Okay, this is my partner and I will put all of those value here so I will try to insert those data like this the reward value video and MVP okay we just save it okay and now we got two different user which has different data okay so we are gonna load one of them to display into this emulator into our application with the firebase and firestore okay so uh, from here actually i don't really remember the firestore uh, code and then for the kotlin code but i do remember there is the documentation that we're able to take a load okay so here firestore get data from the firestore okay so if you want to get the data it's supposed to be like this okay and it's pretty simple right we just need to copy if you're using the java just click here and right now we are going to use a kotlin so i prefer like to use this kind of kotlin okay but right now we have to uh, give the uh, database first we need the database here so you need to get instant first to access your cloud okay so over here i will just uh, remove this i don't want to uh, construct here and i will put here over here okay so here i will put a uh, file db and then a uh, firebase firestore okay and this is supposed to be get instance just like this okay and we need to import this firebase firestore otherwise we couldn't use this function right and here we just need to pass so if you see here the collection name is the progress so we have to put progress and the document is angariski okay 
and this is we're gonna print out the data into the log cat so we could see it before we display it into the application so here we just need to import the log tag i will give name this is the axis okay and this is no axis okay and this is error db okay just like that right so i'm going to play this into the emulator so we're running this application and if you open this a locket you'll see there is the print okay and this is the keyword i will type axis okay and this is axis there is the data the value is 100 and the rewards is 2 and this is the username and this is the videos value okay so it's gonna be more better if we display the data into our apps but how do we do that it's pretty easy clearly okay so this one has the text view every single column has the different text view that we're gonna made up this id okay so the id this is for the reward value okay we just need to make it same 100 percent like the way we did in the firestore okay so you're going to uh, copy this id i'm selecting another text view you put here and replace it as a videos and for the last one is called mvp okay so this one's supposed to be mvp okay good amazing and now we just need to uh, get it as a text view so there is the text view one two three okay so we got here a rewards, a rewards value and we pass him and the second one we got the videos right so the last one is supposed to be mvp value okay we're going to copy and replace that's it okay and after that how do we get the uh, the real data from the firebase and how do we inflate how do we replace the current value from with the data that we got from database it seems easy you just need to cut off we will put it after this okay because the the design sorry the application needs uh, requires us to load those components before we change any value here okay so that's why we have to put here and we begin with the reward value and text and here you can change with the a document okay so over here we are replacing the data that we got it from the firebase so as for now we refer into angariski document right this is angariski and you can do remember the value of its columns this is two rewards okay this is 10 videos okay and this is 100 mvp right but what if we change the reference into funny okay so we're gonna play again into this emulator and we're gonna compare the data so we select this funny and then we'll see in this emulator it's still loading just wait a moment okay also it's trying to reopen the apps okay so the data it's a tent right it's a same it's perfectly same like the one we store into the firestore so this is how do we use the firestore to store in the data that we need to make the dynamic data based on the user that we select okay maybe in the next one i will give you an advanced feature to make it more complicated but it's gonna be useful for us okay so thank you as for now and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video tutorial so goodbye for now see you